cool. Yeah, it's cool. You might try and try and keep it there. But it's not so easy to find planes going there. Mm. Right? <laughs> no, I'll let you know because I think two planes might go on Sunday. Oh, he gives a message. You might. <laughs> well played. Uh, oh yeah, at, at, at 30 without loss, were you a bit worried? Um, no, no. I think, um, yeah, they came out firing and, and, yeah, I wasn't worried at all, but I knew, like, our bowlers could do it, so, yeah. Um, your career has seen a bit of up and down, a very strong start, and then uh, you've been trying to make your place in the team. Uh, what's the journey been like, especially in this in the first World Cup for you? Um, yeah, it's been pretty challenging, the first game against India. That, but, um, yeah, no, um, I'm, I love it. And, uh, yeah, the team just really support me and are right behind me. So, yeah. How do you like bowling on this wicket? Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Exciting. You don't never know what it's going to do, whether it's going to turn or stay low. So, yeah, it's real nice to bowl with. And finishing the tournament on a high, what's next for New Zealand? Um, I think we've got a tour against India and New Zealand, so that will be quite exciting as well. Where do you think was the turning point of the match? Um, I think when we got um, door out, I think we definitely had a chance then, and yeah. Were there any nerves there in the innings break because of the sort of collapse towards the end of the innings? Um, no, I think we just kind of put it put it behind us and um, just. Bold, like just focus on our bowling and really, yeah, went went hard out there. For your uh, big hitting back home, but have you always worked on your bowling? You always been a bowler? Yeah, I've always been a bowler. Um, about five years ago, I changed to spin, so still learning, learning the the um, the the ways. Yeah. <laughs> You were a little uh, nervous coming into this game, considering your last three games uh, haven't been great with the bat. Yeah, no, it was. Um, yeah, our last few games haven't been too too good, but I think we kind of worked hard at training and and um, came out and gave our all today. So yeah. Let's talk about the batting. I mean, you're clearly used as a bit of a pinch hitter in the team. Are you comfortable in that role? Um, yeah, pretty comfortable, but it hasn't really paid off for me lately. But no, yeah. Uh, I really like that role, so yeah. And how much do you learn from people like Susie Bates and Sophie Devine, who are big hitters of the game? Yeah, I, I learn a lot from them just being at training with them, and they help me out. And yeah, every day is a learning day for me here, so yeah, they're pretty special people. You've, like, I believe, just received the uh, White Ferns contract. Uh, but before that, like, besides from cricket, uh, what do you do? Um, I was studying for a bit and then um, kind of put that on hold for a little bit and do a bit of coaching back at home. Um, yeah, but other than that, just cricket really. <laughs> Apart from uh, the game, just uh, we're asking some questions to get to know the players better. So tell us uh, maybe why your shirt number is the number it is. Um, so when I was younger, I used to play hockey and um, that was my first ever shirt that I wore and so I've just always had it from then. But um, it's pretty special because I get to share the same number as Heidi Tiffin. So, yeah, that's pretty special. Did you play hockey uh, for which teams? Did you, what level did you play hockey? Um, I played one year at, at Central, so national level in New Zealand. And then other than that, just, just play socially now. And so what is it like to uh, be under a coach whose number you now share? Yeah, it's pretty cool. She's um, she's a good lady and um, is really supportive of me, so we get along really well. Yeah, thank you.